Hey guys, how are you doing? Oh, had a lovely, lovely weekend. It's Sunday again, but the good thing is we also stream again, so I guess that's at least something. We were quite at the ending, I think. We managed to get through Hotlands and a weird other thing, where I maybe died one too many times. <laughs> or so. <laughs> uh, we defeated Metaton. I remember that much. And now we are off to actually see the king. I also do not remember <laughs> the keys again. Swear to God, I am not allowed to not do this longer than a week. Also, why? Oh, where it's these? Um, he was that okay? Hey, Sasha. So, let me go to Z as well. That this one. Maybe. The elevator is in use. Okay, well, can't use that elevator. So yeah. Mouse away from me. Oh, there is no in game music. So I think that, that, that was on purpose. We are in the city and nobody lives in anymore, apparently. Mm -hmm. There's light music again. Can you hear it? Is it too quiet? Now it should be all right. We are not determined anymore. Does this look familiar to anyone? So very familiar. It's a golden flower. It's also a golden flower. There are photo albums. Wrap books. It's on how to make tea. Coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Um, oh. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. It's a trash can. It's full of crumple of recipes for butterscotch pie. The stove top is very clean. You must use fire magic instead. Took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. So no. Howdy! Help yourself to anything you want. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the ca castle. So we could open this change, but... Oh. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. You take it? Got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. You take it? Take it. I actually don't think I want the. Oh, I should got some stuff that actually heals me. It says best friends forever. Okay, well then. Um, let's use that. Cutting plants and wines. Wow. Yeah, but we don't want that. Dusty toys. We threw. The twin size bat. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Family photograph. Everyone is smiling. The drawing of a golden flower. A comfortable bat. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. More golden flowers everywhere. Room under renovations. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The 
king and queen treated a human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. The key and put it on your phone's key. Despite everything, it is still you. That's Ghost Journal. All the current pages say is, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king size bath. The bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. The clothes rubber. There are ropes, button up shirts. And the pink handmade sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. The trophy. Number one, nose nozzle champ, 98. A coroni art of a flower. The king dad. You unlock the train. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request. To see the flower from the village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel, wrecked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. The human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. As well reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. Thank you so much! Thank you! Damn! Nearly two years in a row! Bro! Thank you so much! I hope you had a lovely weekend! The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. The thought that he had killed the child. Humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But... Can you guys stop fighting next to me? What do you do? You fuck. Idiots. But Azrael did not fight back. Like... Do you see that? How about you guys don't fight? No. I see you. Stop hitting him. Watching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. Dust spread across the garden. Humans are terrible beings, huh? Well. The kingdom fell into despair. The queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. If enough souls can shatter the barrier forever. Why, why are you hyping? For the destruction of humans? It's not long now. King Asko will give, will give us hope, will let us go, and will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? 
I, I'm the one who's getting killed here, so I'm not sure if I'm that excited about that. You're going to be free. Bye. Will I really? Oh. I'm gonna destroy this awesome atmosphere here for a quick second because I need something to heal. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot and have nothing to heal with me. And oh boy, will I need that. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much for the raid! Oh, thank you so much! Wait, 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 wait! None of my mods are here, let me do this real quick. Princess. I love you. Lots and lots and thank lots. you so much! How are you all doing? Oh gosh, you're just coming when I'm getting to the end. No worries, thank you so much. I love you lots and lots. What a raid! And for all the follows. Hello everyone. How I are you, you lots doing? And lots and lots. You also played Undertale. Did you finish it? What route did you play? I'm just going to really quick buy some stuff to heal. Just a second. So I got my ass kicked. Uh actually wait. Um you are too expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Let me go to Caddy and Braddy. They are not as expensive as you are. You just finished the cooking ship of Marathon? Ooh, how did you like it? Okay, wait. Um, I need to... Can I... S okay. Okay, okay, you don't want my ship. It's alright. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Caddy. Ready. Love doing robot voices. I'm trying to voice the characters. I'm just not really good with that. So, later. So, let me get rid of. What did that do? Okay. Oh, but he is. Hmm. Okay. But what I will do is I drop this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Fucking incidents didn't do much either, but whatever. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to have some. Oh, okay, that's it. Okay. So, back to Asgore we go. We played Delta Room first because I I played the game before already, so I know everything. But I wanted to play Delta Room because Chapter Two came out not so long ago. And is the elevator still not working? Okay. But then we kind of figured out that most of my community doesn't know Undertale. So I decided to at least do the pacifist route with the true ending. Like, I don't think I will ever in my life do the genocide route ever again. Like, I have a trauma tale of the Sans fight and the Undyne fight, so. I think I'm good with doing that just once in my lifetime, but I at least wanted to like do the true pacifist route. Oh no, you killed her! Oh, but then you can't get the true ending. Oh. Okay, wait. Let's save here real quick. Oh man, how could you kill Goat Mom? Man. Poor goat mom. I wasn't sure either, so she killed me once first because I was like, I'm not supposed to fight back here, am I? <laughs> so whoopsie for me. <laughs> so I was like, no, we're just never gonna attack her because let's just not do that because I'm afraid I kill her and then I have to do everything again, so yeah. She killed me once, but at least I didn't kill her. You can kill everyone in this game, Chris. That's called a genocide route. And then you have to fight Sans, which is not fun. Because Sans is a fucking asshole. No, 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 you're also not supposed to let her kill you. It's just... You have to survive long enough. So... Let's go back all the way. 
Because I'm an idiot and could have just bought fucking burgers before that. No. So. The music is so... This is one of my favorite pieces. In the whole game. The music is just so good. Cat. Ooh. Am I supposed to do something? So, you finally made it. The end of your journey, but in a few moments, we will meet the king. Together, I love you. Lots will and lots and lots. The future of this. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, everyone, for the follow. Really, the sounds fight is so difficult. Like you have to memorize so many things. Like. That's done. Now, you will be judged. You will judge for your L reaction. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Point. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, the lob increases. Lob, cues. Is an acronym. Stand for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. For you, you never gained any love. For you, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles, hardships you face, strive to do the right thing. Refuse to hurt anyone, even when you run away. You did it with a smile. Did I smile? Really? Are we, for, are we sure of that? Because I think I screamed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm from Austria. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? M maybe not. Now, you are about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul on for humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. You didn't get this far up by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So, as long as you hold on. So, as long as you do what's in your heart. I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all cunning in you, kid. Good luck. I'm living in Vienna. It's, it's not as beautiful now because it's just grey and dark all the time but it is really pretty in like especially spring throne room da 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 or was there a shortcut back no 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 that was a coffin room i remember i do remember it's so long i was here Coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Sunny. Stampy. Huh? <laughs> well, whose coffin could that be, huh? I don't know. I uh, I don't know, man. Whoever that could be, huh? The thing is, I was never sure what voice I should give Sans because he just seems like a funny character at the very start, but he is absolutely not, if you know the whole story, so it's so weird to do voices in general. 